Well, if you did not know this, the Siddika started her, um, we call it a tarade, of dating the Browns. She started with Otile Brown. They did it for a brief minute. They broke up. It was a lot of drama, accusations flying all around. You did this, you did this. My children, my... It was a lot. It was very dramatic anyway. They didn't seem like a good fit. Um, Otile Brown is kind of very low-key. His, you know, voye voye vibes, you know. And then fast forward, she dated another Tanzanian guy and then they the second brown and they had two beautiful children together but recently the brown the second brown was like ah this is too much for me for a long time he had been on the internet always posting quotes you could see he was going through it in that relationship as in you can always see the person going through it the person who is the person who is not leaving the relationship but always posting something on the internet it's always a motivational quote it's always a bible verse and for the longest time that was brown mauzo's thing anyway they did end the relationship and as soon as they did my girl was on a flight she was parambulating globe trotting doing the best living her best life and today she soft launched a new guy who's called, who's called G Brown uh, he's an American model he looks very good very handsome however people are asking the question is he really straight because who is this bear because judging off of the pictures it's giving a different version. It's giving, mm, it's giving sass. It's giving, I don't want to say what it, it's giving rainbow, basically, yeah. So, people go to this person's um, social, social media. media pages mm -hmm. and they're talking about, uh, Vera, Vera, is he just your best friend? Do you love him like a friend? Or do you love, 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 love him? And Vera Siddika actually posted um, a statement saying, listen, not everybody who does this very sass things, this very metrosexual thing, things is actually in the community he just does it because it is what puts food on the table well i'll leave you guys to judge it go on her instagram and check that out i think um <clears throat> in this particular case the bigger question for me is is vera collecting brownie points because oh. it is brown number one brown number two brown number three she's out here just like at the, oh, okay. you know she meets you she goes let me see your id is mm -hmm. there a brown in it game you are it for me and they also have like a similar way, way they look as well she has a type she ha she like her type is so obviously obvious mm -hmm. because they all look a very particular way and uh, apparently the name is also a thing for her either way i am super excited for her and she seems to be happy i think we also may have um jumped gun by saying that <clears throat> simply because they said to each other that they love each other on social media that that is automatically it how many times do you call your friends and you tell them yeah i love you i love you too like these are your friends you can uh, tell i don't do that i come okay. from an african household we don't express love Terrific. with words okay i, I, I love that for you that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's not for me i think for me most of my friends when the phone call ends i, I think you're the only person who actually because you don't seem to be into it yeah so i kind of just let it go mm. but yeah every other person who i talk to aurelia akina all the habibtis whenever the, the phone call is ending it's like love you love you too bye end of conversation too so much. i think it became a thing of them just posting i love you i love you to something 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 it was mm -hmm. she i mean he posted i love you uh no he, she posted I love you and tagged him mm -hmm. and I think he said it back and then in the comment section there was a lot of like you know lovey-dovey exchanges mm -hmm. but it seemed like a genuine just platonic friendship yeah where it's your friend and he's like yas it's a yas queen doing his yas thing so why are we like stopping the reggae can we all just leave them alone but yeah for sure for sure mm -hmm. eh, that is a spectrum right there but we Putting are food on the table or not mm -hmm. is it, I don't know he seems to be a very distinct person uh, Maybe we're just poking our noses where we need not to. Yeah, because that's yeah. what we do. We, yeah. We're they're happy, here. let's leave them alone. When I buy data, I don't buy it to just read an interesting story and see it for what it is, okay? It's Kenyans. I read it for the imagination, we for what, what it sparks for me, okay? If we're we're yeah, why I don't you the just negative. accept positive <laughs> news? What is our problem as a community, it's as not a fun. nation? Yeah. Just accept positive news. You will hear someone became a multimillionaire, nobody cares. Somebody's husband left them, mm -hmm. everybody is on the Internet. That's where the drama Gosh, is. Okay. The young girl who was crying because she found out her her, her boyfriend was <laughs> getting married. <laughs> oh, you saw that story? No. It was trending, I think, at the beginning of the week where this girl from Tanzania, she was dating this guy for a while. He said he's going off to a cousin's wedding during the, the weekend. He was the cousin. He, he was the cousin <laughs> because she sees pictures on social media. But that's just <laughs> quite literally. 
niko hapa meeting narudi that's the literal <laughs> interpretation of that why are we so excited about negative news is the question we need to ask ourselves as a community in a whole very happy they seem happy together so let's just leave it at